Your whole brain training plan can identify the right things to train to change your brain's habits, but doing your exercise the right way can make all the difference between getting results and wasting your effort. To tell if you're doing it right, you need mirrors. When you do aerobics, your mirror is a pulse meter, telling you when you're in the training range. In yoga or Pilates, you check mirrors to make sure your position is correct. In weight training, you track how much weight you're using. But what kind of mirrors can show your brain what it's doing? Your brain sees itself in a mirror called feedback. Your brain tells you what to do or say, and it pays attention to the results that come back in through your senses. But there's a problem with our daily feedback mirrors. Your mind constantly steps between your brain and the mirror and sees what it expects to see. If it believes people don't like you, that's what you'll see, whether that's how they feel or not. Like our other efforts to change our brain's habits, feedback can end up focusing on your mind, but you don't change your brain with your mind. You've already experienced a great feedback mirror. When you first tried to ride a bike, you got on and pedaled and fell off. That's feedback. You try it again and again until suddenly you were riding the bike. What changed? How did you do it? You don't know. Your mind can't explain it but your brain learned and it learned from the feedback and once it learned, it didn't forget. You didn't read a book on riding a bike, you didn't take a course and if you did have a mind telling you what to do, maybe an uncle or older brother, it probably took you twice as long to learn. Your brain learns from feedback, your mind already knows everything. Brain training's feedback mirror allows your brain to see itself. It doesn't show you what you think or how you feel. It reflects your brain's energy patterns. That makes no sense at all to your thinking mind, but your brain recognizes itself. A brain training session may have you relax with eyes closed, listening to music and headphones. Your mind tries to figure out what you should be doing, but there's nothing to control. It's just music. With a clear view of the feedback mirror, your brain begins to recognize that the music changes based on what it is doing. Slowly but surely, it begins to learn to do something it could never do before. And as it tries new things, releases old habits, you begin to notice changes in how you think, feel, act, and perform. As easy as riding a bike.